So today, the University of Miami released a new modernized Sebastian logo, and it's going to be the one that's used across the board for all Miami Hurricane sports. Some fans like it. A lot of fans hate it. Let's take a look at it. What's going on, Canes fans? You know that even in the offseason, there's always some sort of drama or something going on when it comes to the Miami Hurricanes. And this new logo design has definitely sparked a little bit of controversy amongst Canes fans. And I'm seeing a large portion of the fan base argue about this on social media. Now, I do want to open up with saying at the end of the day, a logo doesn't mean more or less wins. It literally has no impact on that. But Canes fans, of course, are a bit superstitious at times. Trust me. <laughs> I, uh, I know all about that. Um, but anyways, we're going to take a look at the old original Sebastian logo from way back in 1984 and kind of see how this thing has evolved over the years and see where we're at right now. So this is probably the most loved Sebastian logo of all time. I mean, this is back when he had the bandage on his face. He was sporting the corn cob pipe. This is the fan favorite. And honestly, I see a lot of newer Canes fans that weren't even around, literally weren't even alive back in the day when this logo came out, and it still seems to be the preferred logo. Now, the reality of the situation is as much as Canes fans want this logo back, and don't get me wrong, th this is my favorite as well. I literally have a Miami pipe tee. This is not a plug, but I have a Miami pipe tee on my, er, in my merch store that has a corn cob pipe with the, you know, the smoke blowing out of it because I love the way this thing looks, but it's never going to make a return literally ever and it's because they're going to say that it promotes tobacco use with the corn cob pipe so it's literally out of the question but this is definitely i would say by far the fan favorite i mean sebastian looks tough he looks like you don't want to mess with this guy right you 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 don't want beef with this sebastian now they did a bit of a rework in 2000 and they changed Sebastian up quite a bit. Uh, the more I look at this logo, the more I realize that I was never a fan of this. I, I really do not like this version of Sebastian at all. The U on the hat just looks kind of out of place. Miami on the chest, they went with the, the green in, instead of orange with the jersey. The really vibrant different color yellow with the feet. I just personally, I mean, let me know what you guys think, but I'm very happy that they scrapped this. I, w I really just am not a fan of this design. It just doesn't look good. And this ran from roughly 2000 to 2018. Now, don't quote me exact on these numbers, but it's, it's very close. And this was Sebastian for quite a while, for about 18 years. And then they decided to rework this Sebastian. So in 2019, they went with kind of basically exactly what the original design was, except they kind of changed the colors here just slightly. They kept the bandage on the face, but then they removed the corn cob pipe. This one honestly is great. I, I like the, the M on the chest instead of saying Miami. I like that it says Hurricanes on the hat instead of the U because, again, it, it just... This looks so much better. It doesn't look like it fits. They put the bandage back on the face. They went back with the orange, the orange feet. It, this is great. Honestly, I and I do get a little bit of the outrage here because I don't think you really need to mess with this. Like, I, I think it looks good. I think it's fine. It's a mix of old school, but also a little more new at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of the best of both worlds. You can see even the way the feathers and things look on him. Uh, just everything looks pretty good. But with that being said, 
Miami released a new, what they are calling modernized Sebastian logo. And you might have to really look close at this initially because at first you're going to see this and you're going to say, Coop, it looks exactly the same. What are you talking about? Luckily, we have a side-by-side -side comparison here so we can definitely see the changes. So the one on the left is what it was. And the one on the right is the new and supposedly improved modernized Sebastian. So you're going to see some pretty big changes, actually. Like some of them are kind of subtle, but some of them are, are kind of big here. So they're replacing the M with the U logo on the chest. Now, I really honestly don't hate this. When, when they moved it up to the hat, that's what I didn't like because it was kind of smushed together in, in a space that was sort of too small for it. On the chest, you know what? It fits. I honestly think this is fine. It works. So they replaced that. Thankfully, they kept the bandage because I think you have to leave that. And then they changed the font on the Hurricanes on the hat. And they changed the color of it to orange. It's fine. I mean, it lets it pop a little more. On the other one, you know, everything was green on the hat. All the stuff filled in and around the feathers. And that kind of gives it a little bit of a different color so it can pop more. You're also going to see that the, the sweater here is not as oversized, which I kind of liked the oversized look. Uh, they're saying a stronger Sebastian because his fist is actually poking all the way out of it here. And in the old one, you can kind of see it was oversized, so you know it was up inside of it. The same goes for the front and back fist. So here they're going to be out on both of them. And then the feathers definitely look a lot different. Uh, they look a little more jagged and rough, maybe a little more cartoonish, I guess. Maybe that's that's the way to put it in the previous one. And then now everything is kind of rounded off, which I guess makes sense in today's times. Everything has rounded edges. You know, nothing can be jagged or, or sharp. Uh, it's got to be very round and bubbly, and, and that's how it looks. The colors and things are a little bit more... Uh, I get pronounced is pronounced the right word. I mean, you can see a lot more green. There's a thicker outline to it on the legs. And yes, I, yes, Canes fans, I am sitting here over analyzing the logo. Yes, we're doing it. But I, I was looking for any kind of little, not Easter eggs, but just different things. Even things like the folds in the sweater here are different. You see it up in the shoulder. And then here, this is a little bit different also. At the end of the day, I'm going to be honest, I don't hate it. I think, and I'm just, I'm just taking a shot in the dark here. This is just an educated guess. I think that this new logo allows them to get the best of both worlds. So if they want to have apparel that has Sebastian on it, and, and think about this. Sometimes they do apparel that literally only has Sebastian. It'll be maybe a Sebastian on the chest and then Adidas logo on the sleeve or something like that. This allows them to have Sebastian and the U present no matter what. If they want to just go with Sebastian, well, guess what? Sebastian has the U on his chest when before it just would have been the M. So they kind of get the best of both worlds. So, you know, like I, I get it. Uh, you know, then now maybe if you have some stuff where he has the M on his chest, that will also be considered vintage. So you'll have some old school gear. You know, because think about the people who have the real old stuff, the one with the corn cob pipe. Like, that's considered really cool old vintage Canes gear. And now, here in a couple years, I guess him with the M on his chest is going to fall into the same category. But I want to see what you guys think about this new modernized Sebastian logo. A lot of Canes fans believe that things should just be left alone. And I do get that argument and that mindset as well. I personally am kind of indifferent. You know, th this is not an extreme change. Uh, if they would have removed the van the bandage, I would have been kind of pissed, honestly, if they would have taken that away. But they left it. Uh, they didn't mess with the colors too much. They didn't change the color of the, the sweater or his feet or anything like that. So n no massive changes. So overall, I approve with it. I would have been fine if they left it. So it wouldn't have really mattered to me personally. But let me know what you think about it. The biggest thing I saw on social media was Canes fans saying, why are they always messing with things? Why do we always have to change it? Why not just leave it alone?
And like I said, I, I get that argument too. A lot of people associate the older stuff with the Canes with winning, you know, because a lot of Canes fans want to go back to Nike. Some, it's because they just like Nike gear. You know, they feel like they put out better stuff or higher quality stuff, or maybe it just fits them better. But some people want to go back to Nike because they associate winning with Nike, which was not always the case, but they remember the early 2000s and, you know, the last national championship and rocking Nike. So some Canes fans argue that, you know, making these changes is bad. It's bad juju. We, we, we shouldn't mess with it. If we would just go back to what we rocked before, back when we were winning, we would win again. When again, in my opinion, and I don't speak for everyone, uh, a logo means nothing when it comes to winning or losing. I'm not a superstitious guy. I make jokes about it, but I don't actually believe in any of that. What wins you football games is hard work and preparation, good coaching, solid players that are dogs and ballers, and you know chemistry, relationships on the team, all of those types of things. That's what matters, and that's what determines the outcome of a game. Logo really doesn't matter, but... I'm I'm okay with this one. It, it it gets it gets a stamp of approval from me, but like I said, I would have been a okay if if they left it alone. Also, so let me know your thoughts. Remember though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family. But at the end of the day, I gotta say it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see y'all in the next one. Now I would like to add though that if they wanted to go back to the old school, Sebastian with the corn cob pipe, I'd definitely be down.